Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, far away, there lived a warrior princess named Isabella. She was strong and fierce, known throughout the land for her bravery and skill in battle. Despite her many accomplishments, Isabella had one flaw. She was not very gentle. She was always rushing and pushing and fighting, and she often hurt the people around her without meaning to. One day, Isabella received a special mission from the queen. She was to go to a faraway land and win over the people there. Isabella was excited for the challenge, and she set off on her journey with determination. As she traveled, Isabella encountered many obstacles and enemies. At times they were big and terrifying, but she fought them all off with her sword and her shield never backing down. After many days of hiking mountains, fighting trolls, and cutting through thick forest, Isabella finally arrived at the land she was sent to. Isabella entered the land with a big welcoming smile, but the people were hesitant to meet her. They had heard stories of her fierce nature, and they were sort of afraid of her. Isabella knew how important it was to win over the people of the land, so she smiled as big and friendly a smile as possible. Isabella got right to work on her mission. What monster do you need me to slay? Isabella asked. The people of the land looked at each other confused. We don't have any monsters to slay here, but we can always use some help around the land. The people told her, Isabella had never been in a situation where there was no monster to slay, but if the people needed help, help she would give. She tried her hardest to be gentle and kind, but Isabella was so used to being tough that she kept accidentally being rough with the people. When she offered to help collect their fruit, she dropped their baskets trying to be strong and carry them all at once. When she offered to help cook them a meal, Isabella accidentally broke their pots stirring too hard and too fast. The people of the land began to fear Isabella even more, and they started to avoid her. Isabella was sad and confused. She didn't understand why the people didn't like her, even though she was trying to help them. Frustrated and exhausted, Isabella sat down and began to cry. Through her tears, Isabella didn't hear her old horse walk up to her. He saw that she was upset, and he asked her what was wrong. Isabella told him about her troubles, and the old horse listened patiently. You are a warrior, Isabella, the old horse said, and there is nothing wrong with that. However, being a warrior does not mean you must always be tough and rough. Sometimes it is important to be gentle and kind. Knowing when to be strong or gentle is the true strength of a warrior. But why? Isabella asked. Why is it important to be gentle and kind? The old horse thought for a moment before answering. Well, for one thing, it is important to be gentle and kind because it helps us build strong relationships with others. When we are rough and tough, we may push people away and create conflict. But when we are gentle and kind, we show others that we care about them and that we want to help them. This helps us to form strong bonds of trust and friendship. But isn't being tough and rough the best way to protect others? Isabella asked. The old horse smiled and shook his head. Not always, my dear. There are times when it is necessary to be tough and rough, but there are also times when it is better to be gentle and kind. For example, when we are trying to teach someone something new, it is often more effective to be gentle and patient. When we are trying to resolve a conflict, it is often more effective to be kind and understanding. Being gentle and kind does not make us weak. It simply means that we are using our strength in a different way. Can you imagine if I was rough and tough with you as a horse all the time and never gentle? Isabella giggled and nodded, understanding what the old horse meant. She vowed to try harder to be gentle and kind and to use her strength to protect and help others, not to hurt them. From then on, Isabella's journey was much easier. She was gentle with the fruit she helped harvest, and she stirred much slower to avoid breaking any pots. The people of the land welcomed her, appreciating her help, and pledged their allegiance to the queen. Isabella became known as a kind and gentle warrior princess, and everyone lived happily ever after.